What's up guys, Jeff Weibel here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about ways to achieve your financial goals. And the most important thing to achieve your financial goals is to hit that like button right now. Thank you guys, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of good real estate content, real estate investing tips, and money tips. So the first thing I wanna teach you guys is about your credit score. If you're 18 years old, you wanna be getting a credit card, especially if you're Canadian or American right now, and you wanna be putting some purchases on the credit card. This is gonna start building your credit and all you really have to do is if you're going down to the store is swipe that credit card if you're getting gas for your car use a credit card and then pay off your credit cards every single month on time you get one chance don't miss it whatsoever it is extremely important this will start building your credit and you're gonna to start to give you a credit score it's gonna be very important once you get older in order to purchase real estate and a lot of other things so start early on get a credit card make sure you guys are using it for any small purchases and then pay it off immediately on the the due date. Do not miss the date whatsoever. If you have one or two credit cards, make sure you keep them both open. Don't close one of the credit cards. It'll be bad for your credit. Keep them open even if you don't have a balance on them. Never close one because you're not using it. Keep that credit going. This is what the creditors want to see. Eventually, you can get multiple types of credit. You can get lines of credit to your account and you can also get credit cards. Get as many different types of multi-credit as you can, especially when you're in your 20s right now. If you get a line of credit that has a very low interest rate, you're able to use this in other places to hard money invest. For example, if the line of credit is at 4%, if you can lend money at 10%, you can take the difference of 6%. So any credit you can get is extremely important. Get all the credit you can right now. I will be doing a video on credit cards coming up on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I will be doing an Amex video card on this channel, which is going to be super cool. You guys will learn all about that. But when I was young, just get any credit card, even if it's only going to give you a $500 limit, get a card immediately. So with doing all that, you should be able to get yourself a very good credit score of around 700. Remember, it goes from 300 to 900. You just want to be probably in the high 700s. If you're really good, you're going to be in the low 800s. So the next thing to help you with financial is to get out of your bad debt. Just remember, a good debt is something like a mortgage payment, especially if you have tenants living in your rental property. You can write off the interest in the mortgage. You can write off the interest in your taxes at the end of the year. This is good debt. You want to own a lot of real estate. This is how it works. You're leveraging your money. This is really good debt to have. So buy as much property as you can. Hopefully the rent is covering the bills, covering all the expenses. This is good debt. This is how you leverage. This is how people do it. You don't just save your way to a billionaire you have to leverage yourself in the form of mortgages so then you got to get rid of your bad debt and bad debt would be who knows maybe it's your Netflix subscription it's basically anything that's not making you money obviously so you might have to look at your gym membership are you even using it this becomes bad debt to you you want to be able to eliminate these things right now so take a look at all the expenses that are coming into your bank account right now and see which ones you can get rid of are you even going to the gym the nice weather's coming out you can just go outside all summer so you might cancel your gym membership maybe you'll cut that net Netflix, that Amazon Prime, whatever you're not using, this will help you achieve your financial goals. Another bad debt would be any interest rate that you have over 5%. You want to keep the interest rates low as possible. So you don't want to be lending out your money that's over 5%. That's just not a good spread for you to make money on. You also want to get rid of any product that's charging you over 5% interest rate. This could be an expensive vehicle or a bad loan that you have lent out. Ensuring that you focus on what is good debt and what is bad debt, really look at your books right now will help you achieve your financial goals. Moving along, you're gonna to wanna to invest your money and then this channel is all about real estate. So I say focus on putting your money into real estate, buy investment properties. If you are brand new, buy a home, house hack the home, which means let's say it's a five bedroom home. I want you to get into that home, live into one of the rooms, especially if you're a young, young guy or girl, rent out the other four rooms and, and have those people pay your mortgage. This is called house hacking. I didn't even know what this was back in the day, but this is what I did on my very first deal, my triplex, investing in in real estate. Yes, you can invest in the stock market. I'm not the expert in that, but you don't really hear about anybody's losses in the stock market. They only tell you about their wins, but in real estate, people have been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years. They invest in real estate. It's very safe, especially in North America. You know, do your due diligence on it. You can watch all the other videos on this channel to figure out which properties to invest in, but that's what you guys are going to want to focus on. Start investing your money. So your credit score is good. You got out of your bad debt. Now you want to invest in the real estate. And this is what those two things are going to help you out. And when you're applying for a mortgage, they're going to 
run your credit and it's gonna be extremely important that you have all your ducks in the row so you can purchase these amazing deals that are eventually gonna help you retire early in real estate. After you get the single family home there and you're renting out the rooms, you can also look to purchasing multifamily. So you can continue to rent out the entire home and you can move on to the next property. Let's say you get a duplex next, you have a nice pad to live in, you get another renter living potentially above you or beside you or however the house is. You have the income coming in from the other house, you have rent coming in from one of the other units in the duplex and you get to live nice and cool, rent free by managing the two assets that you now have. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys have ever tried anything like that. But this is how I got ahead in the world. I'd love to hear from you guys how you guys are doing it as well. Okay, number four thing you wanna do is create a second source of income. You're gonna wanna do a YouTube channel like this which creates a little bit of passive income for me monthly as well. But it also, in my business as a real estate agent, gets my name out there and people wanna buy houses with me. So something like this YouTube channel really helps me out. For you guys, it might be opening up an Amazon affiliate links. Uh, maybe you're obsessed with camera gear and you're gonna start a YouTube channel all about camera gear. Then you're able to do Amazon affiliate links underneath the camera if you're reviewing cameras. And when people come to watch the video, they may wanna purchase that camera and you get a commission on the camera. So you gotta start thinking about different ways. Yes, thank you so much for watching me right now. But yes, you wanna be doing this yourself in some form on your channel. Now I know what you're saying. Jeff, I can't do a YouTube channel. What else you got for me? If you're obsessed with real estate, some of my friends do wholesaling. And what that is, is they are getting a house under contract and they are selling the piece of paper for money to investors. So if you're working a day job right now and you're watching this channel, but you want a little side income, you can be doing this on your drive home. You can find a house that has a caved in roof, grass is overgrown, go knock on that door, get that property under contract, wave the piece of paper around to investors and sell the paper for money. You do not need a real estate agent license to do that. You are actually better off not having a real estate license doing that. So guys, you just got to get creative. If you're just sitting at home after work, you're doing it wrong. You want to create a second source of income, either passively or actively and use all the time, especially when you're young right now. It's going to really help you move forward in the world. So lastly, if you want to achieve your financial goals, everyone's going to tell you to save your money. But unless you have an amazing interest rate on saving, I always just say invest your money. Even to this day, I have minimal money in my bank account. Why? Because I treat my money like little soldiers. They're always out working for me. They come home with the money and then we reinvest them back out all the time. If they're just sitting in base, we're not making any money right now. We got to go fight a war. So that's what I do. Everybody just wants to stare at a big checking account balance. You're not making any money. Look for opportunities where you can invest it. Hopefully you're securing your investments on real estate or on a promissory note or just on trust with people. And then therefore you will be getting a return on investment on your money. And the bonus part, what happens when all my money is out every single day, I have to wake up and say, where's my money coming from today? And that provides me that hustle. What I like to say, puts me behind the eight ball every day. Sure, I'm safe. I know I am. But daily I'm looking at like no money in my bank account because I've all pushed it out every time, which forces me to go get more and more deals. I think if I was just looking at a safety net within my bank account where I save 25%, I might sleep in one day. But no, I'm up every day. So it depends on what you guys want. But if you really want to motivate yourself to achieve your financial goals, this is what the top people do. They're always pushing out their money. They're always remaining broke. So important. You probably read about it or heard about it before. Remain broke all the time. And therefore, I can't really buy too many extravagant things because I don't have the money lying around because it's all invested out. Therefore, I just get back to work. Therefore, I'm not buying toys or anything like that because I'm not just staring at a giant bank account where it would be tempting if it was just sitting there and I can continue to do that until that one day when you're out of money and you gotta get back to work. But that's my everyday. I'm out of money. I gotta get back to work. This, guys, will really help you guys out. So always deploy your money out into the field and it'll force you guys to be creative and make more money. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. If you guys are a real estate agent, I do have a real estate agent course that helps you guys get to $100,000 in your first year of being a real estate agent. And the link will be in the description. And as always, I post every single day on Instagram. So get over and follow me at Jeff Weibel and send me a DM that you're watching this video and I will get back to you guys. I really appreciate it. And if there's any other questions, hit me up in the comment section and I can't wait to see you guys on my next videos, but stick around and watch these other videos right now. It really helps out my channel. Let's go do it. I want to buy this thing. I'm not going to wait. He's gonna be doing a webinar in there at the same time as Jeff Weibel is gonna go right through the roof and escape. This guy couldn't escape out of a wet paper bag. Everyone knows how you escape. Your gay hours will show you where this is. Three, two, one.